What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today, we are talking about Book of Night by Holly Black. It's no secret, I really loved Holly Black's Cruel Prince trilogy, so I was really excited about this, especially considering this is an adult fantasy instead of her normal YA. And I will say, I wasn't super into it, and more than anything, it just felt a little bit off the whole time. So this story takes place like in present day. It's kind of like the beginnings of Cruel Prince when you see like the magical world and the regular world kind of butt up against each other, which is something that Holly Black is known for. And I really liked that. I, I liked the mythology that she was setting up with our shadows being able to come alive. And it's something that we can control. You can feed it blood, it can give you powers, but you never want to give it a mind of its own because then you could have dangerous consequences. And our main character is somebody who always takes like the worst possible decisions and she kind of finds herself mixed up in this plot to find the mysterious book of night. I liked the players in this book and I liked the premise of the story. But you read like 75% of it and still nothing exactly plot wise has happened. Like things are happening and like the threads come together in the end. But the whole time I'm reading it, I'm like, what exactly is this book about? Like, what exactly are we doing here? Like, what exactly is Charlie doing? What is her place in all of this? And same thing goes for like our main like touchstone characters, which would be Charlie, Vince, and then her sister Posey. I liked them, but you really only get Charlie. Like you don't get much of the other characters. And I loved her and Vince relationship. I liked that they were an established relationship. It was really interesting, but like it doesn't really do anything for me. There's really nothing there that makes me go like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this ship. Like the tropes are good, but it felt kind of emotionless while I was reading it. I don't know if this is just a fact of it being an adult novel instead of a YA novel, but I found myself wishing it was just more focused in on like who Vince is, who Charlie is, what they're doing instead of like picking locks and like this mafia type of atmosphere and that kind of thing. Cause I just felt very detached from a lot of it where I was finding that I just, I wanted to feel more nestled into the story. To be honest, it was kind of a slog to get through. It took me a little while to like find my footing with it and really get into it. And like by the end of it, I can see that it might turn into like a series, but I don't think I would even want to continue on with it because I just don't really feel anything for these characters. Yes, it left off on an interesting note and like I would like to see what happens there, but I feel like it also ended in a way where I don't see how you could continue the story. So it's a little bit odd. I do think Holly Black did a really good job writing it. I think it's well written. It just wasn't what I was wanting it to be. So I'm giving this book a B minus and we will see where it goes from here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to that like button down below and don't get to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.